we were in a class called Music Over Mississippi. Um, there were three classes that went together to New, New Orleans, one studying history, one studying English, one studying the music. It was cool to do um, something so interdisciplinary. Um, it was neat to do this project and look at the same thing from dis different angles. Um, and it taught us things that we wouldn't otherwise have thought about. I went on the history segment of the New Orleans trip. Um, so with my class, we were assigned a certain location in Louisiana that we had to do background research on and study why it was important to the town. Uh, I was assigned Congo Square, particularly because I love music. Um, and today, tourists still come to this location. There's a drumming circle that happens every Sunday. And my class actually got to participate in it and learn a little bit more about African culture and like why uh, this music still means so much to New Orleans. And it just kind of in that moment, I realized why we study history, and it's to understand like why the present is influenced so much by the past, and why we need to know like where we come from so that we can understand where we are today. Because it's one thing to learn about you know, this is how the music should be done, this is how the music was traditionally done. Um, but it's another to be there and to hear it and to be able to play it in the city where it all started. It was really intellectually satisfying to me to learn more about comparative slavery. I teach slavery, but I got to do more with comparative slavery. I teach African American history, but if you focus on New Orleans, it's got such a rich history to it, it's very distinctive. We went to a couple plantation tours, which are really neat. So we really got to interact not only with the literature, but also the history and the music. And so it all kind of came together, which is really neat. I think this is really is what Ohio Wesleyan is doing um, with these travel learning courses. The very first day we got there, we threw them into um, uh, what they call Zydeco Breakfast, a, a Zydeco band and dancing at 8 in the morning. And they looked at me and said, okay, we get it. They were immersed in the culture, right? So these little short trips mean so much to these students. So I think the travel learning program has been an enormous success, and I'm, I'm anxious to do it again.